bookseller Elise with another book rec slash craft video. This week we're doing recent release and top buzz book for the summer, uh, Beach Read by Emily Henry. It came out on the 19th and it is worth the hype. I read it last week and it's very, very good. It follows romance writer January Andrews as she goes to a beach house that she's inherited on the shores of Lake Michigan um, to try to find stuff out about herself and also to try to get over a very severe case of writer's block. Meanwhile, she finds college rival and acclaimed literary high fiction novelist Gus Everett uh, doing the same thing in his neighboring beach house. And the two make a deal and try to write each other's genres and see if that will help. And rom-com nonsense ensues. It's very cute. It's very well done. It's a, provide, it's a good romance, but also it has very good discussions about the kind of um, opinions and discourse between different types of genres of fiction, between women's fiction and romance and literary fiction. It's very interesting. It's very good. It's very well thought out and sweet and has very good family and neighborhood dynamics. It's a very good beach read. That's why it's titled that. It's good. I recommend it. So based on that title and based on where I hope everyone's going to be reading it, uh, we are going to make something this week that you guys can use when you go to the beach. It is a DIY no so uh, drink koozie or cozy or however you want to pronounce it. It is that you know thing that keeps your nice cold drink cold while you're at the beach. So with that in mind, let's do it. For this craft, you're going to need a sheet of felt for your cozy is what it's going to make it, a paper and a sharpie to make a stencil, a hot glue gun or some other form of adhesive. It could be tacky fabric glue, it could be um, sewing it, whatever you want to do uh, to attach it, scissors, uh, and paint. The first step is to create a stencil for your koozies. So we're going to use a Dell's Lemonade bottle and we're going to measure the base. We can just trace a circle of it and that's going to be our base. Then for each side, so these are going to be the main parts of the koozie, you want it to be wide enough so it's about half of the circumference of an average size bottle. So that's wide enough to fit any type of bottle you want to use. I'm doing it five inches wide on each side and three and a quarter inches high, but you can make it higher if you want to use a larger bottle. And you're just going to make it even on both sides and just trace it and cut it out and you have a stencil. Once you have your stencil made, you're going to use it to trace on the felt and cut out your pattern for your koozie. It's okay when you're cutting it out if you don't get all the sharpie off completely. That's going to be the side you're going to use for the inside of your koozie, so no one's going to see it. Once your koozie is all cut out, you're going to attach it. So you're going to flip it so that the side you want to be the inside, so in our case the side that still has Sharpie visible, is on the outside, it will later be the inside. Once you are done folding it, you are going to use your adhesive, in my case a hot glue gun, and it's going to glue the insides together and just press it down gently and wait until it's cool and it's adhered. That's all you have to do. And once your glue is completely dry and cool, just flip it inside out and that is the outside of your koozie. And when your koozie is all attached, feel free to decorate it any way you please. I'm going to decorate it with some paint that I have. This might work better with acrylic paint. I don't have acrylic paint, this is just washable paint I had in my house. And I'm going to do two cool stripes on both sides. And a good tip for getting your stripes to be even and straight and not that messy is by using some masking tape or painter's tape that you may have and taping it down and then painting the lines. It's okay to get the paint on the tape, that's what it's there for. And making the lines all straight. So I'm going to paint my stripes that way. And also when you're doing it, make sure that they're completely dry before you flip to the other side. Okay. 
And if you're doing the masking tape trick like I am, wait until it's a little bit dry before you take the tape off and just carefully rip it off. Make sure you don't strip the tape and it'll look like a nice sweet line. Alright, and when your paint is done drying, your koozie should look a little bit like this. And we'll be all ready for your nice cold drink. And you know what? Even if it doesn't keep it super cool, it's good for identifying whose water bottle's which. And remember that our book is Beat Read by Emily Henry. It's really, really good. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 on the can't put down this scale. So see you next time, guys. Bye.